Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. I am so excited to share what my recent summer morning routine has looked like as I truly believe the impact of a morning routine and how starting your day off right can completely transform what the rest of your day will look like. Let's get our day started. In the mornings, I actually don't like spending too much time in bed. So I try and get up pretty quickly. That way I don't risk falling back asleep. But personally, one of my favorite parts of the summertime is the morning routine that I have. So yeah, it is bright and early, but we are gonna have a really great day. And I'm excited to take you guys through my current morning routine. <laughs> official time actually sitting down and speaking to the camera but I have really been enjoying my morning so far it is actually already the middle of July which is so crazy so even though it feels like it has came so fast we are definitely well into summer for me it feels like summer just started just because weather in Vancouver in June was just not the greatest and we were seeing a lot of rain but the past couple weeks of July have been so beautiful every day has been so sunny I hear the birds chirping every morning I've been really taking my time in the morning to just enjoy the sunshine and make my morning routine a little bit longer so with all all that being said, I feel like I just established a really good summer morning routine for myself. As much as I love a good slow morning in the summer, I definitely do have a few non-negotiables that just make me feel very happy, productive, and just set up for the day. Taking some time to journal in the morning, which honestly usually takes me about five to ten minutes, especially with gratitude journaling, just feels so good. It makes me feel very clear-headed on the type of day that I want to have. But other than that, and some of the things that we already did this morning, like having a good breakfast, coffee, all of those good things, I'm going to be going over the rest of my morning routine and just hanging out and catching up with you guys. Let's do a little bit of skincare because that is also definitely a non-negotiable. I always feel like I'm saying that word wrong. I also just brought my vitamins, which I take every morning. And what I take every morning is omega-3, magnesium, and then vitamin D3. But I know vitamins can be very personal depending on what your body needs. For skincare, I'm gonna be using the Rode Glazing Milk and then just pushing it into my skin. And I've noticed my skin just reacts better when I'm using less products by actually having them work with my skin type versus just applying tons and tons of product to my face. But this mask you guys is amazing. It is the Laneige Bouncy and Firm Sleeping Mask. So when I apply this, I just know my skin's going to be feeling so hydrated for the rest of the day and it is just amazing. That is all I'm going to be doing for skincare just because I feel like when I apply this face mask specifically, I just feel no further need for eye cream since my face is feeling so hydrated. But yeah, what I usually love to do next is going on my morning walk. This has been a game changer for me for the past few summers. There's really nothing that makes me feel more prepared for my day. Even mentally, it helps me feel so clear-headed whenever I move my body in the morning and just feeling the sun on my skin. I promise you guys, if you're able to start implementing even just a 10 to 15 minute walk in the morning, it really does pay off throughout the rest of your day and how you feel. So that is gonna be our next step before I come back home and really get focused in on what the rest of my day is gonna look like. Okay, so just before we go on our walk, I wanted to show you guys something that I've loved doing as a little productivity boost. I'm someone who is quite sensitive to caffeine, especially if I've already had coffee that morning, like that is it for me. You guys have probably seen me raving about Magic Mind in multiple of my videos. I actually just got fully stocked up on another pack, which I'm so excited about. But basically there are these little shots with absolutely amazing ingredients inside of them. Some of my favorites include, of course, matcha, lion's mane, turmeric, multiple vitamins, and so many more. But yeah, all we're gonna do is shake these up. And when I do take them as a little boost in my day, my focus and clarity are just unmatched. Okay, amazing. There's also something called nootropics in these little bottles. The reason why they work, all caffeine does is block the neuroreceptors in your brain. And then when those receptors unblock one to three hours later, that is when you experience a crash. And L-theanine that is found in matcha prevents the full blocking of those receptors, which results in you receiving sustainable energy without receiving the crash. But if you guys would like to try Magic Mind for yourself, I'm gonna be leaving a link below where you guys can click and find them. So yeah, thank you so much to Magic Mind for sponsoring today's video. And let's head into the rest of our morning and our walk. So 
I've made it back to my room and my desk and I'm definitely ready to start getting into my day a little bit more but just taking that first hour of my day taking things slow and just really enjoying it makes the biggest impact on my mood and overall well-being I did get a little bit more hungry so I decided to just make some additional breakfast which is usually what I do just because in the morning right when I wake up I feel like I'm not super hungry but I really need to start planning out my day especially for this week I have so much on my to-do list I have also just been feeling so inspired with the new season and have had a lot of ideas on my mind and also many deadlines for this week you guys I just picked up this new planner and I have convinced myself that this is the best planner I've ever owned the past few weeks I was on the hunt to try to find a perfect planner and every single one I looked at was just not the format that I like and then I finally came across this one actually on Urban Outfitters online but it's just perfect for day-to-day -day planning and it's also undated so if I miss a day I don't feel guilty which typically does happen to me with weekly planners and then I just get off track and I'm so excited to use it for the first time in this video definitely in the mornings I love morning jazz but I feel like it just really helps set the tone and keeps me focused but yeah today is gonna be a busy day I definitely also have so much more that I want to say in this video and just do a little bit of a life catch-up so I'm gonna save that for when we get ready today but the next little bit I'm just gonna be playing some music writing out my to-do list and then also going through any emails <laughs> So it is time to actually get ready for the day. Usually, unless I'm planning on filming any content or have plans that day, I will not put on any makeup and just let my skin breathe. But since today I do have some content to film this afternoon, I'm gonna do a little bit of light makeup. But when it does come down to my actual morning routine, most days I do skip this entire step and then just get straight into work. But today's plans are a little different, so I thought we could also do just a mini life catch up because it has been a while. I feel like I've said that in so many of my past videos, but it truly has been. And I think particularly even more over the last last bit just because I have been posting a lot less than usual. In the summertime we cannot forget sunscreen so this is one of my favorite ones. It's the tinted Elta MD ultra broad sunscreen and it is so nice. This gives you a little bit of that glow but yeah honestly I've missed you guys so much. It's obviously great for you to take social media breaks here and there but when I go too long it just ends up feeling weird and I end up missing it so much but the last few weeks have honestly just been some of the most busy weeks. I've had a lot of family events like helping with wedding planning, birthdays, family visiting, and just all of those sorts of fun things. My birthday also just passed on June 19th and so many of you guys reached out and wished me a happy birthday, which I appreciate so much. I can't really believe that I turned 24 this year, but I'm just so grateful for another year and what has felt like a fresh beginning. I feel like I'm just speeding through everything and giving you guys a quick recap on the past bit, but my birthday was very well spent and then things moved pretty fast because I also found out that I was going to Disneyland with my boyfriend the following week. So I ended up just working a ton that week and then preparing for my trip, which was super exciting. I was not expecting to go anywhere, especially at this time of year. Like I mentioned, life has just been so busy, so it was such a nice break to go away for, I think it was seven days. We were only at Disneyland and California Adventure Park for two days, and then the rest of the time was just spent in Southern California and doing little day trips, which my favorite part was definitely visiting Laguna Beach. It was honestly absolutely breathtaking, and I would definitely recommend going there if you're planning on visiting California, but I've definitely just been hitting the reset button on my life and also just really getting back into content creation. I'm definitely really looking forward to the next few weeks and just enjoying the summer months at home. I literally wake up every morning just being so thankful that it's summer. I'm still so obsessed with these Charlotte Tilbury magic wands. It has been like three or four years of me using this product and there's just something about this blush that can't be replicated. These are also really great too. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Cheek Tint. I'm definitely leaning towards making a mid-year reset video this week since as crazy as it is we are halfway through 2024 and I definitely feel like I want to do it for myself but also for you guys. So if you want to see that video let me know in the comments below. Also for the summer, I don't have any other travel plans. So just really being at home and taking in each day, there's just something in the air for me this summer where I really want to take the time to slow down, focus on my health and wellness, habits, work, all of that kind of stuff. And I'm just really looking forward to it. <music> So 
I've just finished up my hair. I did my classic blowout look and I love doing this early in the week just because it ends up lasting two or three days and I don't need to worry about styling my hair too much. But also then again, I'm not doing my hair and makeup every day, but this is typically what I do when I do do it. But I feel like you guys, it is still pretty early, but that does pretty much sum up my morning routine. Obviously every day does look a little bit different and other days I end up needing to be much more rushed, but I do really try my best to prioritize my routine. So the days that I can do like a really good in-depth morning routine, I will definitely do it. And I know how good I'll feel from it throughout the day. Um, but I am going to get going because I have quite a bit to get done today. So yeah, I'm so glad we got to catch up. And I hope you guys are enjoying your summer so far. Lots more summer content coming, which I'm super excited about. Also, if you're not following my other socials, make sure to do so. I'll be updating those more often or pretty much daily. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys back with my next video. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys back with my next video.